Reading is a term often to describe a person's intelligence, and this could be the key to a successful future. Once an everyday necessity, reading has become one of the least options for informative sources for the majority of people. It's scientifically proven that reading boosts your emotional and fluid intelligence and increases your vocabulary. And according to GoodyReader.com, only 28% of Americans read 11 or more books in a year, and 28% proudly admit to not reading even once. With all these great benefits of reading, why don't Americans read more? I asked a few students on the campus of Alcorn State University if they read on their leisure time, why and why not? I, I do read if I have to, but on my leisure time I don't like to read, only because it's not, it's not that interesting to me. I'm more of a creative person, or I like math and science type stuff, but if I have to read in order to learn something, I will, but on a leisure time, no. I have to be really interested to read. Yeah, I do read and everything. I like the literatures and everything, the, mainly history and stuff, um, talking about the past. I feel like humans, if we can learn from our past, we can grow as better people today, so I like to read history a lot. Um, I do read because I like to expand my knowledge about not widely talked about topics, such as like racist ideas and the construct of where they came from. So I like to read to expand my knowledge in that aspect and also in spirituality. And I find that a lot of books help me to get a better understanding of them. Dr. Murray Sugars, professor of English and the director of the Alcorn Writing Center, shares his thoughts on people not reading as much anymore. They read a lot more than we realize. Um, because we live in a digital age. I mean, we're reading all the time, but I think we're reading differently than we used to maybe, and that has to do with being in this digital age. So the way that we may be used to reading now is uh, reading things on a surface level. But maybe, um, you know, decades ago, certainly before the digital age, maybe we were reading more deeply and thoughtfully. And I think parents have a lot to do with that. Like, you know, if you raise your children reading stories to them and then not just reading them but reading actively. I do suspect that we read differently than we used to and we need to receive training on that you know and it can happen in the home and it certainly should happen in school. Frequently passed around tips for getting back into reading is to first identify why you stopped reading, build reading into your schedule, join a group, and set goals. This has been Heather O. McDodd reporting for Dogus 30.